Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments Part 13. And today we get to do our very first grand wedding in about five months. Queen Basharo is already here, obviously. She's here to watch the secondary spouse get moved in. Agathe's wearing a whole thing right now. I'm kind of torn on it. Part of me loves it, part of me hates it. We're going to rock it for now. And then Hatia Hypatia is already here. 83? Oh my god! With a 29-year-old husband. Go get it, girl. Damn. <laughs> okay, sure. If you say so. Uh, thank you so much to You Are So You. Uh, to <laughs> being excited to see how long uh, Menkare lives. Thank you so much, for Lore, Lore Master, for all the in-detail comments, as always. Thank you, Meow, for the on board death and all the feedback. Thank you so much to Kyle for wanting the episodes to be more than an hour. I seriously appreciate that hype, man. I cannot commit to more than an hour a day, unfortunately, with a full-time job, friends and family, and all that good stuff. But I cannot understate how hype it is to hear a comment, to see a comment like that. So I do massively appreciate that. Sorry I can't give you more video every day. Um, thank you, Ganja, for your comments. Nice to have you back. Thank you, You Are So You, for all the comments. Long live Menk. Oh, I think I already said that. My bad. And then Dr. Cocter. What a name. I, I love it. Dr. Cocter told us that it's not Medjay, it's Magi, is how it's pronounced. Even though it's spelled M-E-D-G-A-Y, it's Magi. So, my bad. I obviously am pronouncing stuff wrong all over the playthrough, so I appreciate that shout out. All right. We got five months. We got some war to do while we're waiting for the grand wedding to start, so no rush there. I was looking for some good characters to marry in the future. <clears throat> and there's some options, but not really, without marrying family and stuff. We'll, we'll figure that out after the grand wedding. For now, let's focus on one spouse at a time. Let's wrap up this siege in a month, and then we can go attack this group here. Defensive? Oh my god, wait a minute. What's the garrison here? 337? I should have done this earlier, to be honest. Take everybody else. Let's go. Let's go. Colt, you can lead this tiny little army right here. She's still alive, right? She is. <laughs> Not by much. Dar Nefetari is more likely to receive a good education due to Queen Basharo's tutelage. Nefetari, if you are our daughter... You really got a bad hand with the genetics. I'm really sorry about that, but... Give it your best, girl. Give it your best. Until I find out otherwise, you are my daughter to me. <clears throat> Obviously, being in character there as Menkare. Let's not make it weird. Alright, there's gonna be a cut there because real life happened. Sorry about that. Uh, it's now almost 1 in the morning, so... <laughs> I am super pumped to be here and playing the game, but I'm also very tired. So hopefully, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, real life really did happen. I'm, I'm here now, though. Let's do this. We're going to try to scare them away. It's probably not going to happen, though. We're probably out of time. Oh my god, I got this. I got the Temple of Don Dongola. Really? I actually don't hate that, because it's right next there. It's right next to us in our 10. Um, where's the county? I don't need this one. Canoon. No, not Canoon. Where is, um... Where's What's-Her-Face? You're vassals, man. Nessadenia, here she is. I'm already giving her the count, the duchy, basically. Yeah. Alright. Nessadenia, take this for me, please. Thank you. Alright, just like that, we're back under limit. Okay. Alright, very good, very good, very good. Let's rock. 18 days left. Probably win, but I don't I don't love that it would go like that. See, it's in 18 days and it would take us 13 days to get there. We have to attack now or it's no go. Kareem, what happened? 35? What do you mean? Oh my god. Why are you flagellant? Dude, this man... Oh my god, Kareem. Poor health! You can't be in poor health! Scars over scars, frozen grief, flagellant. No, man, no. 
He's lost 9 prowess from his old age. He should have 32. Should have 34 because of the flagellant taking 2 more. Oh my creep. Oh, he has... Yeah, he's frozen from grief because his eldest died. Sorry about that, man. That does suck. I'm not going to lie. And your daughter is nothing compared to you. We're going to lose a lot when you pass. Oh, man. Wait, what? I was about to say. I thought these were the same person. They are! Kareem, you can't marry... <laughs> Kareem, you can't marry your daughter, man. Ah, all right. <laughs> I get it. Divine marriage is in our religion. I get it. But uh, I'm still going to say it. That's weird, Kareem. You, you do you, but that's weird. Moving on. Good. Don't rush. Oh, they white flagged. Okay, we still got two days extra. Good, good, good. Get over there and support. And they're not running for it. They're sticking to their guns. Oh god, we gotta stop them. Stop them right here. Control Walega. Oh, we can end the war instead. That's probably the best, actually. You know what I mean? Rather than have to do this close fight and maybe lose some men, we can just call it a wrap right here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's enforce demands. Okay. That was getting tight for a second. Enforce demands. None of your hostages are worth anything, so don't worry about it. To the miserable Pharaoh Menkare. May your humors rot in your living body. You lost 20 stress because your rival chieftain Katya lost the... Oh, yeah. We lost 40 stress because our rival got messed up. That's on you for making a rival of us, man. I don't know why you did that. Okay. It's good to be back. I may be tired, but I'll probably record a full-length episode if we're being real because this game is just too good. Let's be honest. Um, four months till it begins. We could do recreation to lose stress. No, we don't need to lose stress. What are my other options? Murder. You're focused on ending the life of your target. No, then I would have done a red wedding. This often results in murder occasion special options. Seduce. I could seduce her during the wedding. That's not a terrible idea. Or diplomacy gain an alliance with the selected character even while them into submission. No, let's let's seduce. Can I yeah, okay. Let's... Let me seduce Agathe while she's here. Confirm. There's no one better to seduce. I realize I could be seducing someone else at our grand wedding, which would be an insane plot twist, but let's not do that. We we had a lot of work and luck go into marrying Agathe today. <laughs> okay, that's Damot. That's going to be its own thing. Um, is there anyone deserving? Nefrakari. That's the name we almost went with instead of Menkare. Craven, forgiving, and paranoid. Great learner. But I don't know. Some of all skills. Still a nil is towards the top. Court tutor need to keep around. Oh, um, Meow made a point. We probably shouldn't have a Tem learn from uh, Kareem anymore. Because Kareem doesn't help with his learning goal, his stewardship goal. Let's give him a steward for a ward. Okay, hold up. Oh, he's traveling back home first. Okay. Give it a couple months and then we'll give him a steward tutor. Uh, what was I looking at? Oh, I was handing off territory. That's right. That's right. I'm not crazy. Uh... Kozu Zakawa. That's Hati Aku's kid, right? No, that's High Chieftain Pilatos' kid. Oh, no, yeah, son of Nomark Ku. Yeah. Is Nomark Ku not going to give him any land? No, he's going to give it to Ku Zakawa, which makes sense. And then his younger brother, Kosu, who is way more talented. Humble, diligent, and patient. Oh my god, what a shame that is. No more Q is going to hand over this duchy to his eldest? Who is that sorry excuse for a man? And his youngest is not going to get land? No, that this is our chance to fix that. Kosu, here you go, man. Here's your land that you absolutely deserve. Boom. 
You are now Chieftain Kosu of Walega. You won't own as much or as valuable of land as your bigger brother does, but you do have a piece of the Nile River. So, you know what? I'd say your land is more valuable than him, than his as is. There we go. Alright. Uh, our vassal count is at 13 of 40. We're still plenty good on that. Back to hitting play. We're about to turn 31. There it is. We are excellent health, full of vim and vigor. Incredible stat line happening for Menkare here today. We love to see it. I'm going to be so sad when Kareem goes, man. I didn't realize he was getting so old and poor in health. Ah, oh, man. Ku is getting pretty old, too. He's fine, though. Magjean is fine. Yeah, it is in good health at 48. Wow. And Shad Lai is in fine health at 56. Okay. So no one's going too soon. She's obviously in good health because she's only 28. All right. Letting it fly, then. Three months until this begins. Waiting on activity guests. 16 remaining. Okay, so half of our guests roughly are here. Gerard Elebna's friendship. I never expected I would grow as close to Gerard El Lebna. Is it Lebna? Lebna, as I have done in the past few years. On multiple occasions, he has proven himself to be a reliable and forthright man with only my best interests at heart. No, he is not. So rare to find a true friend. I'm still not convinced. Never want to see his face again. So he's trying to befriend us, even though we are... He's arrogant, just, and greedy. I mean, I don't hate his personality. I hate the fact that he's not the right faith. There's a neighboring ruler. I can't convert him if I wanted to. Oh, he's our ally. That's right. That's right. He got negative 50 recently because he desires some chiefdoms we have. Should be at negative 15, but oh well. You're going to have to deal with that. I don't think we're going to be good friends, Gerard. I really don't. Um, but your wife would love it. Alright, fine. I'll try, because you're my wife's father. I'll try. That actually really helped out. Wow, friend plus 60 is a huge boost. That's crazy. After finding common ground as a result of many deep conversations. Interesting. Plus 60 for being a friend? 60! Yeah, that's a lot. Damn, it's doing well for itself, isn't it? Those eight counties are really making it work. God, they have pieces of the Nile River. I want it. Later, though. Later. <laughs> this is the sorriest kingdom in the land. Gotta be. Oh, I also saw, while I was looking at the world to see if anything big was happening, um, the Eastern Roman Empire is about to lose. So... A new Eastern Roman Empire is about to take over. Not that he's very impressive, either. West Francia is now just France. So, I don't know what makes that happen. And Loremaster pointed out that England was formed from Wessex, even though they don't have enough land to make England. Maybe they do with the new rules, because it looks like they have 50% of the counties. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe England is one of those that only needs 50% now. I really don't know. There is so much plague happening on this island. Are those three different plagues or the same one? Mercy and coughs? Oh, it's all the same one. Okay. 58 deaths. A lot of minor plagues. 73 and 73. Still no triple digit plagues yet. Which, you know, don't let me say like, like that's terrible, but you know. I am a little dark. It There's a dark side of me that's a little interested to see how much a plague could really do. How's this guy doing? Kaganisi the Worthy. Oh, he's losing prestige right now, though. Dang. About to attack and gain some new land, maybe. All right. Back to the Grand Wedding. That's happening very soon. Very soon. We can't declare war right now because I'm at an activity, correct? Correct. Okay. No problem. Just let the military build itself back up a little bit. That works out in its own way. Legendary figure. I wonder how old he'll be when he hits that. Because unless he dies an early death, Mankare's definitely going to be a legendary figure. That goes without saying. Alright, surely Atem is back. He's still traveling? Where is this kid? Dang, Atem. High Chieftain Nizam is one against Chieftain Agbe. Okay. High Chieftain Nizam is one against Chieftain Agbe of Ephot for the High Chieftain... Oh, in the Tyranny War. Gotcha. 
Did Shirazid split a little bit? I don't know. I don't actually understand completely what happened there. I'm sorry. That one's a little confusing to me, but it is what it is. Man, this is an awkward take. There are three different duchies. Gross. Chieftain of Masawa should be an easy take in the future after the activity. Adam returned. Okay, Atem. Let's educate you with a good steward. Mogjin is intelligent and a pretty decent steward. Yeah. Help him, uh, Mogjin. You're a court tutor, but you could also just double educate the kid. Okay, Jet is coming up on his personality. So he's ill. He's still in fine health because of strong blood and robust. Hang in there, Jet. Don't die as a baby. Three years old. He's about to get his personality soon. He's curious. Diplomat learning. Um, okay, so we have a learner. We have a learner. We have a diplomat. We have a steward. Now we have a learner or diplomat. So I guess we'll go diplomat because we have less of those. Wow, we cannot get a marshal or, or an intrigue. But the marshal especially is just evading us at every turn. Maybe Narmer is going to be the one to hit it. I don't know. We'll see. That's probably, like, the only bad luck we've had, is that we just can't seem to get a martial kid. Alright, here we go. Grand Wedding. I've never seen this play out, obviously. Wedding ceremony starts. It always feels amazing when you have been planning for something for so long and spent so much money on it, and then it's finally there. Everything is ready. The decorations are in place, the guests are mingling, and servants scurry around with loaded dishes. I'm pacing around in excitement and nervousness when my future spouse, Agathe, appears radiant in her finest attire. We are ready to begin. Okay, we can do better with the finest attire, though. Let's... Hold up. Um... What clothes are those? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna try too hard, but let me try to do a little bit better than what we're looking at right now. Uh, Iranian's got some good stuff. Early medieval high clothing, maybe? Kind of fits with what, like what we're wearing right now. It's better than what she had. We'll go with that. All right. I can't wait. You're engaged in the wedding ceremony. Fair enough. Queen Michelle gained ten opinion because she's impressed. Good. <laughs> impressed at her secondary spouse's wedding. That's interesting. Everyone's excited and amazed by the magnificence of the wedding venue. Everyone but Negus. Del Nod. Since his arrival, Del Nod has been prowling, searching for any pretext to complain. Are you wearing makeup? These colorful veils are sinful. What's with all the unchaste mingling? Is this all a show of luxury and lust? Bro, you're literally a seducer and torturer. Spymaster. I don't I don't need to hear it, alright? And that's all you're good at. You look at your stat total. Fifteen if you don't count intrigue. God, he's really good at intrigue though. I'm ashamed of myself. You gained 38 stress because of arrogance. He gets 20 opinion of you. Guards, accompany this killjoy to the door. You lose 30 stress because of arrogant. We don't need stress loss, but I appreciate it. Uh, closer to forming a rivalry. I'll pretend I didn't hear anything. 15 stress because we're arrogant, and he loses a little opinion of us. Uh, losing opinion is not going to matter. Yes, and I'm going to enjoy it too. This option is available because of your seduce intent. You grow closer to forming an intimate relationship with Agathe of Turpicil. You lose 30 stress. Agatha gets 15 opinion, Nagoose loses 20. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it too. Damn straight. We didn't need that stress loss, but we'll take it. Oh, hey, 100 diplomacy lifestyle experience and 20 opinion from Yehudit. From negotiating. Alright, inspiring rule. This one's not great, but we'll take it. True ruler next. Really not gonna matter either because of the places aren't our religion. But writing history, all of these four are all gonna be really good. We just need to get through these two right here first. Okay. 25 diplomacy lifestyle because your contact network expanded. I'm glad I told my servants early to keep an eye out for Agathe's arrival because in the midst of the wedding preparations, I would have missed it otherwise. Instead, I'm proudly standing in the middle of the courtyard wearing my fanciest clothes and surrounded by a guard of honor. When Agathe makes her entrance. My dear Agathe, you are finally here. No celebration would ever be as pleasant to me as when I can bask in your radiant presence. Let me show you the gardens. She likes the guardian gardens or she doesn't. Um, she becomes your lover. You complete and seduce intent. Would you like to see the venue's preparations? 69% that she becomes your lover and we complete or seduce intent. 30% um, of it being underwhelming. I hope you enjoy the ceremony. 5 opinion and 15 stress. 
I mean, we got to try this then, right? Oh, 57 stress would be a huge hit if we failed this. But this would get seduction done instantly. Would you like to see the venue's preparations? Let's go! She was impressed. Our RNG has been popping off other than not getting a Marshall kid all game. It's been so good. She's become our lover as well. Excellent. So now we have two lovers. Beautiful. Was charmed by your company and presentation of the wedding venue. Gained a lover. Well, there you go. And now our intent is recreation, I guess. Wow, we can change intents halfway through the wedding? That's actually really shocking. But I'll take it. Promise a favor to Sheev. Sheev got a weak hook on Malika. Okay. I pity you, Pharaoh. Hatia Suleiman tells me what married life is like. Full of bickering, mistrust, and strife. The end of any peace. Like me and Giho, he grumbles. He hates his wife. Is that what my marriage to Agathe will be like? Agathe is perfect for me. You gain confident groom or you gain wedding jitters. And then more stress. Stress gain and loss? This, this character is ready to face whatever their wedding date throws at them. Unfortunately, the confidence will not persist any longer than that. Okay, so this is just for the wedding. And then stress is worse for the wedding. Don't worry, I'll have my hobbies. Please, I know all about marriage. True! After all, I've been married before. 50-50. That is the true stats, isn't it? 50-50. Will it really be that bad? You gain wedding jitters. Agathe is perfect for me. You gain confident groom. You are confident Agathe will suit you. We are killing these, these roles, man. Let's go! Minkari at 31 will not be denied. Wow, our wives are like the exact same age, actually. Let's not say wives yet. We still need to tie the knot. Negus Del Nod paid 15 to Agathe. Nice. That might indirectly make it to my pocket. Gerard Lamna lost 23 stress because of admiring the venue. Enter seclusion. Why? What happened? Greatly deadly plague is on the horizon, and though many will die, I cannot allow myself and my loved ones to be counted among the dead. I must retreat to the outskirts of the capital in seclusion, safe from the miasma of plague and disease. Oh, God. Decision available. Uh-oh. Nubian pox is spread in the barony of Psy. Oh, it's right there. A Nubian pox, huh? It's just getting started up here. That's going to spread to us soon. Let's finish this wedding and then go into isolation. But we got to finish the wedding first. Come on now. This is take this is taking a long time, by the way. I don't hate that. It's kind of kinda of awesome, if not for the plague. Newman Pox is spread in Barony of Sign and Barony of Casa Markol. Oh my god, dude. That is spreading fast. Can we not? I'm trying to have a wedding here. I don't know if doing that would like You know what I mean? I don't know if that would cancel the wedding, and I don't want to do that. The dare has barely started. I'm already fed up with the incessant blabbering of religious so-called authorities, well-wishers, psychophants, and confused servants. Not surprisingly, I've been seething through most of the ceremony, okay? By the time of our formal consent to the marriage, my patience is wearing thin, and I find myself snapping a reply in annoyance. Do I want to spend the rest of my life with Agathe? I don't, or I do. I do. You, there will be consequences. You marry Agathe of Turpikil. Nice. 100 piety. She gains 100 piety. We get Ruler's Grand Wedding for development growth and popular opinion. And both dynasties get 75 renown. I do. Is it official? It's official. Would you look at that? So. <laughs> Let's wait for the wedding to be over. Let's not, ru Let's not rush into things too fast. <clears throat> okay. As the ceremony concludes and we all move to the banquet venue, I secretly smile to myself, picturing the joys to come from my married life with Agathe. Not everyone can be so lucky to marry such a likable person. I wish everyone on to share in on my happiness and let's all tuck in. Enjoy. You gain 75 prestige. <clears throat> we have three more months just in the wedding banquet. Wow, this is a whole thing. Wedding night, nice. Conclusion. This is a whole thing, for real. This, these grand weddings go on. I don't hate that at all. It's just I'm worried about this damn plague. I just like capital. Maybe I can do that. Chris plague resistance of your capital. Two of ten gains isolated capital for 15 years. Control goes down, but plague resistance goes up 40. 
This county's been placed under quarantine to protect it from the plague. Yes, absolutely. Beautiful. I don't want to enter seclusion, though. Uh, yeah, because I'm currently busy in the grand wedding. Good, it doesn't even give us the option. That makes choices much easier for us. I'm glad we secluded, though. I'm glad we uh, isolated the capital, though. That plague resistance 44 right now. 4 from the chapel, 40 from isolating it. Hopefully this plague right here, the Nubian Pox, which still hasn't killed anyone, mind you, doesn't go too nuts. Is this my karma for wishing for a major to finally happen? Oh my god. It's the first major plague in the game that I'm aware of. Pretty sure it's the first one. Bump Thang Coughs. Started on January. There's only 10 fatalities so far. It gives you consumption. Plague danger. Devel development decline. Development decline. Wow, it takes away development. That's crazy. Okay, we'll see how that develops. Now, back to what really matters. <laughs> the Grand Wedding! Which the banquet is three months. That's a hell of a banquet. Okay, last action. Tills fantastic joke about candles. He gained 150 prestige. Everybody lost 11 stress. Why not? I might want to just develop the capital here. Because if I'm going to lose a bunch of stress anyway... Could develop these lands for 56 stress. Let's see if we get a stress option first. We have recreation. We're gonna get rid of this stress. I'm gonna plan I'm gonna do develop the capital. Your diligent planning is paying off. Here we go. Might have been slightly risky, we'll see. Alright, throughout the meal I find myself easily drawn into Judith's conversation. She has some very interesting opinions, makes the very best jokes. She's not gonna live much longer. And we seem to have so much in common. Whenever I'm recounting an anecdote, she listens attentively and chips in with all the appropriate comments at the appropriate time. Who would have thought I'd find such pleasant company at this wedding? Wow. I really enjoy Judith's company. Sure, well, no, because she's about to die. That's going to stress us out. <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I almost... <sighs> I'm sorry. No need to get any closer, though. That does suck. I'm sorry. That That's unfortunate, to be honest. But that's just something we gotta live with. Pi is more likely to receive a good education due to Queen Bashar's tutelage. Good. Wait, Pi is educating him? Wait, huh? Yeah, I'm his guardian. But I guess she helps out. That's good. Hatia Suleiman tells a fantastic joke about smoothly, smoothly polished sticks. Uh, I can imagine where that might have went. Every feast, there's always one. Every single feast. One long-winded, ill-born pissant cornering people who just will not be silent. This time is Lazaros, and he's deeply confusing. His words clearly make sense to him, but they sound almost entirely unconnected to me. I spent half an hour of trying to figure out what my part in this conversation is. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> Whoa! That's a win-win. I mean, there's one that's way better than that. Gently exit the conversation. 46% chance of a whole diplomat diplomacy lifestyle perk. That's a crazy unlock if we get that. Shut up. Snooty for five, 15 years now. That's very interesting. You gain approachable, but nothing more. Grin and bear it. You get a weak hook and 40 pin. You listen to every last word. 46% <laughs> a bad coin toss that we get a diplomacy lifestyle perk. Imagine... The RNG continues going. Come on, baby! It has to end eventually, though, right? <laughs> you are kidding me, Menkare! How do we keep doing this? This is criminal! <laughs> True ruler. Unlock. There it is. This is incredible how lucky we're getting. Absolutely incredible. We get everything to go our way. Absolutely everything. This is wild. Let's go. Now our next time we get a diplomacy perk, it'll actually be really nice. Actually be really good. That's crazy. Nice. We all lost 11 stress because of a great joke about whips from Hatia Suleiman. After extensive conversation over our delectable dishes, Mayor Tamirat expresses that he finds me most learned and wise, and that my utterances are always of inestimable worth to those less well-read than I. He recognizes true intellect, I see. Of course! 
We're extremely well read. Look at this. It's good that he recognizes that. Thanks for the prestige as well. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. yep. Okay, it hasn't moved, but I like we have this button here to be able to keep track of it. Spread to the barony of Delgo. Okay, it has moved. It's spread east a little bit. Okay, the Nubian Pox has now killed two people. Three of the four baronies in the Kenbed of Psy have been infected. Infection rate is 19%? How is that a minor plague? That's, that's spreading everywhere. That's crazy. Sergio of Da and Queen Bashara became friends. Interesting. Fine sculptures, exotic tapestries, strange foreign flower arrangements, and more festoon the banquet hall. A veritable feast for the eyes. Near my seat, both Gerard Lop, Lebna, and Negus del Naad share their opinions on the decorations. Certainly not stingy with the coin here, are they, laughs Lebna. Well, I can't say I'm afraid to take advantage of the hospitality. Frankly, I find it a little exhausting, moans del Naad. I don't even know what's a seat and what's a decorative sculpture. Yeah, okay. Ooh. We don't need that. Del Nod is right. It's just not what I had in mind. No. We don't need any more Intrigue Lifestyle Experience. 50 Diplomacy Lifestyle Experience could help. You spend much of the evening hobnobbing with this native appe naive appeaser. What? Don't get involved. You get 75 Prestige and 19 stress. Lose 19 stress. God, that's good. 50 is really not that much. That's That's way less than a month, right? How much do we get a month right now? We're getting 34 a month. Ah. Uh, okay. You know what? That is actually not a, a bad amount. That's more than I thought. It's like a month and a half of diplomacy lifestyle experience. Okay. I'll take seven stress for that. And Gerard Lebna will like us more. Which is good because we're friends. Got our stress up to 37 unfortunately. But can I pet Meow while we're here? No. Good to know. Laws your efforts. You lost 13 stress. Thank you, Ger Gerard. I know I should be spending time with my new wife, Agatha, and her family, but I just can't tear myself away from my friend, Gerard Lemna. I mean, she's the main primary spouse's dad. Yeah. I can, see, I can see Queen Agatha starting to glare at me, but every time I try to excuse myself, Lemna is me howling with laughter all over again. What a joy to have Lemna here with me. Gerard Lemna becomes your best friend. You lose all of our stress... And Queen Agathe loses 30 opinion of us because she's insulted. Agathe, come join us. They both become friends with each other. Become my friend and his friend. 38% and they both get 30 opinion. Or 14% or 19% chance we get 14 stress and they become rivals. Sneak out so we can talk properly. Confider. Stress loss and a diplomacy. And sharing his problems with a close confidant, Mankara has become able to manage life far better than he could alone. Closer to forming a rivalry with Queen Agathe would not be good. Unless it's one of those, like, <laughs> hate love where they, like, love to hate each other. Let's excuse me, my friend. Lebna will understand. Um, this is actually pretty nice, and this is really nice. That's a permanent diplomacy and stress loss. That's a trait. That could have great implications throughout the rest of our life. Closer to forming a rivalry with us is obviously not good. Closer, though. We're at 100 and she's a lover. You can only have one best friend. Really? And he's on his way out, too. Uh, I'm going to do it. This is... This is bold of Menkare, but he's going to sneak out of his own wedding banquet for a second to go get Confider into someone who's not going to be around for very long, but that he truly enjoys. You gain the trait Confider. There it is. One diplomacy and more stress loss. Look at that. We still have a whole month to spend time together, Queen Agathe. We got this. We got this. Lose 29 stress from being overjoyed with the amount of pomegranate cakes from Gerard Lebna. There it is. We have no stress anyway. I mean, incredible. That stress loss already kicking in, it feels like. 
Your spouse, Queen Agathe, is impressed. Queen Agathe gained 10 opinion of you. So they're both queen. Okay, good to know. I didn't know if there would be a different title for it. Really? Del Naad offered the respects of the Solomonid. We got 75 renown for that? Damn. That was a huge chunk of renown. We're closing in on Insignificant and our next perk. Nice. Alright. Grand Wedding, the wedding night starts. The feast has started winding down with everyone sated and tired, but the day is still not over for Agathe and me. So this is supposed to take place over one day, I suppose. A procession of guests leads us to our bedchamber, for the legitimacy of a wedding pens on it being consummated. It's time. Okay, that's all we need to know. Or not. Queen Mashara increases our diplomacy by one. Okay. Queen Agathe has been idle all night, looking through the window and letting out some melancholic sighs whenever I try to approach her. She can't stop touching her hair, avoiding my gaze. The candles are almost running out, and she starts crying silently when I get up to rekindle them. Uh, what? Minkari, I, I have something to confess. I can I cannot believe it. We're not my love. I shall protect you. <gasps> I don't want to hear the rest. You gain clear conscience for ten years. Or actually, I have something to confess. Gain confidence for ten years. I don't want. I don't want to hear the rest. I don't even want to hear it. Because if you say that, there's gonna be a problem. If you say that, there's gonna be. I don't want to hear the rest. Clear conscience. I don't want to hear the rest. Characters chose to have a tranquil wedding night and not discover their their spouse's secret. Yeah, I we cannot find that out. We cannot find that out. We cannot. I don't want to hear the rest. We converted her by kidnapping her and and saying that you only get out if you say you were. So like, I get where she's coming from as me, the player. But Mankari does not want to hear that. And if he did hear that, he'd have to do something else. So clear conscious it is. Your lover befriends Hatia Yustafanu. Okay. Agatha and R are led to the chambers by the raucous wedding party. The echoing shouts and laughter heralding the bedding ceremony. High Shaman Chad Lai dresses our bed with flowers and garlands before tucking us in, pouring cups of strong spiced wine and directing us to drink them. We gaze at each other happily as the party starts to depart alone at last. Before the door shuts, Agatha's jester, Suleiman, makes lewdly mimes, growling and barking like a hound. Come here, I've been waiting for this all night. Your wife is flattered or disgusted? Either way, you lay with her, but... <laughs> you know, obviously we'd rather her be flattered. I'm suddenly sleepy. 91% you insult your wife. Think I need some more wine for this. <laughs> what? <sighs> Come here, I've been waiting for this all night. That's that's definitely gotta be the play in a situation like this, right? Wife is flattered. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Imagine she wasn't. The 4%. After all our good luck. No way! And then Queen Basharo does it, giving us 75 renown. Our level of, level of splendor just skyrocketed. Is known far and wide as an insignificant household. Let's go! <laughs> Gotta have that insignificant household. Hey, we're getting somewhere. We're not obscure anymore. People know about us now. We just, in their eyes, we aren't significant yet. We'll change their minds soon. We're known about now. It's a step forward. Well, we've laid with Queen Agathe. Hopefully that results in a child there. We lost 20 stress from Yehudit lauding our efforts. Dude, I think because of all the money we spent on this uh, whole grand wedding, we're just getting an insane amount of stress loss in other events. Let's get the fire in the grate has started to wither, and I stared its flames in silence. The light, its warmth. Queen Agathe is searching for something in her wooden chest, and I take my eyes off the flames to look at her. Menkare, she says, offering me a small package wrapped in silk. I've saved this since I heard of our betrothal, and now I offer it to you as a token of my love. House embroidery ribbon. <sighs> Whoa! Plus 3% monthly renown and some spouse opinion. That's actually crazy. Wow. You are my greatest gift. This grant a bonus of romance schemes against her in the future. You lose 29 stress against 10 opinion romance. Okay. We already seduced her. I don't know if we'll romance her or not, but we've already seduced her. You are my greatest gift. There you go. Flatter her. 
Don't let Basaro hear that part. <laughs> All right. When finally the last guest leaves, I look around at the deserted venue. The food leftovers, the spilled spiced wine on the floor, the echoes of people's laughter still lingering in the air and feel satisfied. What an amazing day. I did a very fine job organizing it. Thank you all for coming. There it is. You married Queen Agathe and got 1,200 prestige for that grand wedding. Holy shit. You gained magnificent hosts for 20 years, giving us 5% more prestige and renown. 10% more lifestyle experience and diplomacy and 8 court va courtly vassal opinion. Gained 35 gold for some reason. Lost 51 more stress. Gained 50 more legitimacy. Got celebrated a magnificent wedding for 20 years which gives us even more prestige and renown. Another 50 legitimacy. And then every guest gained 30 opinion of us and every courtly vassal got another 30 ahead of us. That is actually awesome. Dude, these grand events are so good. That almost seems almost overpowered. What just happened? That's, ins that's insane. Look at all those bonuses. Agatha got 800 prestige as well. Wow. Finished the grand wedding. Wow, that was insane. Let me equip that crazy good trinket. Look at our renown starting to climb up here. We have plus 11% monthly renown right now because of all of our bonuses. <clears throat> oh, we're well-connected social figure. So this is updating, like, the, the like, picture is updating as we go. We're now getting monthly prestige, natural dread, diplomacy. Wow. Benkari's well-established social circle makes his endeavors in diplomacy and intrigue less arduous. Social connection, we're almost at rank 1. Friends in high places is up to rank 2 already. Okay. Damn. This is awesome. Hatia of Sai. No, she's got a good personality, but that's all she's got going for her, really. Okay. Yeah, no one that's here, really. Do we enter seclusion here? What does that do? Secluded for five years. Whoa. This character is isolating themselves, preventing most methods of communication with the outside world and leaving themselves without power of influence. Minus two to all skills except three diplomacy, but our chance of infection goes way down. For five years. Every close family member at court. I'll do that if it reaches our capital. How about that? It's minor and not spreading very fast. Let's let's give it a let's give that a second to like work itself out maybe. I am curious to see how many kids we end up with as Menkare cuz that's going to be a lot of kids. The way things are going. Uh like I said, I didn't find a character I was super happy with last time. So, as far as the next marriage goes, it's definitely going to be somewhat difficult to figure out. Who's talented and very young? Noltu? She's zealous of the wrong religion, though, so that already takes her out of the running. Chiefess Zarebeka, she's already a chiefess. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, look at that stat line, though. I'll look for another woman uh, in between these these episodes. I don't want to spend a whole episode working on that part of it. Let's go ahead and... We can knock out that county. Axum is going to be super weird to take, so maybe we just get on that. At least this one's two counties, I guess. The Duchy of Gondar. Better than nothing. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Alright. And then boom boom right there. Sure. That'll have to work. And he has no defenses. Like, he cannot stop us. So let's just take what we want. 
as we take the northern edge of now this lake that the Nile River dumps into. You're gonna go here, you're gonna go here, and you're gonna go here, because he can't stop any of our groups. Absolutely cannot. We don't have a court physician! Oh my god, that's bad. Judith is a good one. She won't last very long, so... We'll make her that for now, and then we'll find a better one in a bit. Hold court! Nice! We love holding court. Get a little... Oh, by the way, we did get that legitimacy, so now we're a true ruler, which everyone's happy with. Nice. If we can push for ordained, we'll get renown as well, but... That is 1,400 to get to ordained, I believe. 1,200 to get to ordained. So, it's a lot of legitimacy. We'll try. I'm sure we'll get there a long time from now, but we'll try. Let's hold court. A gesture for the first in line to approach. Hatia Yustafanu, friend of my wife, I remember, approaches me with a straighter posture than usual, visual, visibly eager about what she has to say. Okay. My liege, the people in your realm need the occasional joy spot gathering for where they can forget their stresses. I would gladly finance a feast, if, even if held under your name, as it's for the good of a ten, though I would duly expect a favor and recompense. No strings attached, your liege demands it. You lose 34 stress because you're greedy. Hosting a feast in the near future will yield a reward of court grandeur value. She pays us 100 gold and loses 30 opinion for taking advantage of her kindness. Yep, that does sound like something she that something that Menkare would do. Yikes. Perhaps we can arrange something more agreeable, maybe. Very well, I accept. Wow, the greedy and arrogant combination to make no strings attached to your liege demands it. That's crazy. We just did her so dirty. That's disgusting what we just did. But, Men but Menkare loves it. A foreign guest approaches my throne and loudly proclaims, It has been a while since I arrived at your court. I have carefully observed how you rule and address realm matters both small and grandiose, and I have been nothing but deeply impressed. Obviously. Among the Nubians, there is an old tale of a legendary ruler from a distinguished dynasty. It is a story that my mother told me when she was young. She heard it first from her mother oh so long ago. And now I have the great pleasure of telling you that I think you are the legendary king of Nubian legends, and I believe you any true son of Nubian would surely agree with me. Wow. Yes, your elders spoke about the Terramen. A ten is the subject of Nubian tales. A Kometo ruler does not care for what Nubian peasants gurgle about. Oh, man. <laughs> we are a terrible person. That's crazy. <laughs> Acceptance is at 6%, so this would only go down 6%. <laughs> 50 renown and 150 prestige is crazy. That's enough renown to get a whole perk. Commander Ruler does not care for what Nubian, Nubian peasants gurgle about. Oh my god. Everyone's being so nice and we are just being the... Just the biggest asshole in the world about it. <laughs> Menkare, my man. Leonipus Henna. Okay. Quite the learner there. Club-footed. Interesting. And a monk. My lord, I represent the religious community of Walaka. While rummaging through our modest archive, we have come across a very peculiar book. The cover was dusty, the binding fragile, and the pages were yellowed by time. But it contained the most unusual drawings, and the script itself was unknown to us all. We are certain it is unique in the world, a long-lost vault of knowledge, a true treasure. That's why we offer it to you. Perhaps it's the original copy of The Will of God, or it's a memoir from the world's creation. You gain mysterious book in the collection for 5% monthly prestige... This character owns an ancient book written in a mysterious language. Is that permanent? That almost looks permanent. Let me have a look at it right now. 66% we get a learning and 75 prestige. Uh, because it's a nice manuscript and nothing special. 33% it's a badly crafted fake for 150 prestige and 2 learning. Who cares about books? Wow. Okay. Let's give it a look. The book is indeed old, but it's just a Greek Bible. One learning and 75 prestige. Not bad. As the last petitioner departs, various courtiers follow them out of the room, having business to attend elsewhere. 
Others remain talking amongst themselves about the recent proceedings. Soon the ceremonial formality of the proceedings has dropped away entirely with the hum and bustle of normal quarter life taking its place. We are now have 34 learning. Just a little something. Business here is done. Six court grandeur and 50 legitimacy. That'll put the court grandeur just shy of six, won't it? Yep. We're at five court grandeur right now? When did that happen? Oh, we're not at five court grandeur, but it's what it's expected of us? Why is five expected of us? We must be really chugging along. Okay. Dread gain goes up. That's not bad. Dread's 51. That's dropping on us. We need to get this up. Need to get a ch need to get a chance to be dreadful here. There it is. Court Grandeur 5. That's good. Like I said, they're not stopping us. So we can just go ahead and knock this out. Bad luck, Coach. Yeah. There we go. Okay. It's not escape I notice that the, despic the despicable chieftain Kochia is a very superstitious man. He fears unlucky days, unlucky colors, unlucky animals, and even unlucky trees. Spotting the shadow of the wrong bird at the wrong time could send him into a panicky spiral for days. He's our nemesis. Didn't even know I had one, to be honest. While well, strict observation of his rituals seemed to bring him a sense of immeasurable safety, a minimal devi deviation from it could have unpredictably large effects on his peace of mind, effects I could take advantage of. Hmm. Great cattle owner. That's interesting. The Dala Cattle Counting Ceremony putting the owns more than 100 cattle? So that's considered a worthy, notable person in his community. What? Okay, sure. The possibilities are truly limitless. Starts a murder scheme against Chieftain Katia. The scheme gains extra success chances. 100 intrigue lifestyle experience. I'm going to mess with his head. I'm not stooping so low. We don't need intrigue lifestyle experience, and I don't need to murder this man. He's on his way out anyway. I'm going to take this 75 prestige. We're cruising on prestige right now. Wow. Look at all those bonuses. Damn. That's what we're talking about. Queen Agathe is pregnant. To be expected. Alright. <clears throat> I really need to get a spouse before the next episode for sure. Um, we're kind of running out of time, but I, I think I have a little time. Oh boy, this siege is going to be a nightmare. 18 months. Yikes. Let's get Kulk on that. We need a siege expert to make that not take absolutely forever. Even then, it's still going to take 18 months. Damn. A shadow over our 10. What? Oh god, it made it. A walk through the chiefdom of a 10 seems pleasant enough at first, but closer inspection reveals something deeply unpleasant. A plague has arrived in this once thriving metropolis. The skin of the infected is deep red and covered in lumps and bumps. Countless fresh scars cover the skin from endless itching, and those hopeless, ho hopeless eyes are bloodshot and red. While numbers remain low, more and more of the population are beginning to demonstrate these symptoms, and it's only a matter of time until it spreads further. Already people are calling this affliction Nubian pox. With this foulness happening on my own doorstep, preparations must be made if I wish to avoid the same fate as these wretches. Keep an eye out. Some of the physician. You lost 80 legitimacy for this? That seems kind of wild, but okay. Summon the physician. And she's good at her job. I should really enter seclusion, huh? Let me see what the physician says, and then I probably will. Early prevention. The dim, flickering light of Judith's infirmary illuminates the, scenes, uh, the scene as the physician lays out a plan of attack. I have a number of observations regarding Nubian pox, chiefly the way patients are riddled by scars and rashes like I've never seen before. The plague does not appear to be too severe, and it is my recommendation as a professional that we take a light approach to prevent the spread. After all, we do not wish to hurt the economy. Ultimately, the exact strategy for pre preventing the spread of this plague is mine to make. A soft approach is best if that's what you recommend. You are good at your job. It is a minor plague. It's killed how many? It's been around for... About half a year and it's killed four people. Not super deadly, to be honest. Alright, a soft approach then. So what happens with that? Early prevention success. Good. It would seem the moderate approach has proven successful with a slow and spread of disease symptoms among the commoners. Though the impact is quite minimal, it should at least grant more time to work on a more permanent solution. Wonderful. You gain mild epidemic prevention for ten years. The physician recently prescribed some moderate measures to prevent the spread of the encroaching epidemic. 
I got five plague resistance. Got it. Interesting. Look at all these bonuses we have. Menkara has absolutely gone to work. It's threatening to get here, isn't it? It really is. Okay, 11% of con of contracting it here. 0%. Still 0%. Okay. But there's 11% of getting it here. All right. Okay. We'll keep working on it, I suppose. Little scary, but I suppose. <clears throat> All right. I'm a little worried about that plague, obviously. Um, but it is minor, it seems. 59 deaths so far in the Boon Thang coughs. It's not doing a lot for being a major. Interesting. Bashara's now pregnant as well. Oh god, it spread again. Okay, there's now an 11% chance of getting it in Dongola and an 11% chance of getting it here. It's getting here soon. I'm gonna probably seclude just in case. Yeah, it sucks that we lose 3 Diplomacy, putting us down to 12, and 2 and everything else. But we'll still be pretty skilled, even with all those drops. For 5 years. Choosing to travel at any point during your isolation will end your isolation. Oh good, we can end it. Okay. End exclusion. Yep. Let's take the loss. Carried far away from the stink of the capital's heart late at night, I and my family may remain distant from the people of the realm until such a time that is right to emerge. Communication will be limited and my throne will feel empty, but we should remain safe from the death and decay beyond our four modest walls. Lose 20 legitimacy, lock the door. Did we just drop below this? No, we didn't. Okay. We're at 862. That's not bad. We can emerge at any time. Nice. You lose secluded. Okay, that's good. That's, that's really good, actually, that it's an option like that. I can rock that, for sure. Shadlai and Queen Agathe and 16 others got the warlike courtier trait. Nice. Bazin is under siege. Oh, they think they're fancy, don't they? Oh, they think they're fancy. A year left on these two sieges. Four months on that. Seven months on that. Okay, right. if I let this finish, Kareem can then go move up there. I'm glad you're hanging in here, Kareem. Just hang in there, man. Hang in there. I'll be really sad to see you go. Meow Betrayal? Oh, why is, what is with the cats not liking Menkari? Of all the things to go well. Is that some cooing I hear? And some muffled meows? Sat in alcove is Sheeb. Meow cradled in his arms. The feline looks up at him adoringly, limbs tucked in like a babe's, and the smitten Sheeb rocks her lovingly. I offer a greeting, but though the human responds, the cat merely purrs contentedly and burrows her face into the crook of an arm. Despite myself, I see, feel a pang of jealousy. Cat rejection for five years. Stress loss up for five years. Boy, give me my, give me my cat here. She loses ten opinion, but we lose. This is what Menkare would do, so it's what we're doing. Menkare, you're a real, <laughs> you're a real dick. You're super successful at so many things, but you are a real ass, for sure. Split this in half. And this and take the champions away. There we go. Bring that that way. Cause we're they're about to leave for another area. And I'm letting this go over to 899 AD here, I think. Jets. Um that's right, we made you diplomacy, that's right. Narmer, growing up. Look at him go. Wait, what happened to his stats? Oh, he's secluded. Yeah, 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 yeah. I about to say, what? That doesn't make any sense. It does, actually. Mechlet gained smallpox. My guest. Dismiss. Yeah, go away. Cost 75 prestige. What? I guess. I got the prestige to burn. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Not dealing with that. <laughs> no, thank you. Has it spread all the way? It has. And now there's five fatalities. Interesting. Now, we're trying to keep this away for as long as we can. Man, we had good plague resistance, too. 
3% chance of catching it in a 10. 3%, 3%. It looks like it's on its way out. Okay. Alright. And boom. 8.99 AD. 32-year-old uh, 10. 32-year-old er, Menkare. Pi is 12 now. Look at that. Okay. Raise this by 3 and the rest by 2 because of secluded. Not bad, not bad at all. That's before his education kicks in. Alright. And he still needs to get his last personality trait as well. Things are going really, really well. After we take some counties from Axum, we're going to take some counties from Danakil. We'll work our way through Hake to get to this lake here. Once we have this land here to get to this pond or whatever, I think we're going to finally turn north for Tullinid. I think it'll be time. Also, stress level 3, he didn't die. Good for him. Also, it'll be a whole new ruler who might not have the same allies that his father has. So maybe that'll work too. Yeah. Alright, thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. But either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments. I am having a huge blast playing this game. Grand Tournament when? Five years? Can't wait. <laughs> I need to find another wife to have a grand wedding with for sure. We need to do a grand tour when we finally get the chance. There's so many things I want to do. Can't wait to do them. I'll see all of you. Did we really not get a Renown perk? Huh. It's 750, my bad. Yeah, I'll see all of you next time. <laughs> I'm out to sleep like a rock though. Man, this was super fun, but... <laughs>